Let's look at the new MIDI remote control functions in Cubase 12. In previous versions of Cubase, when we wanted to have our MIDI controller control different program functions or plug-in parameters, it was difficult to set up using either generic remotes, track quick controls, or VST quick controls. This has all been simplified by using the new MIDI remote control function that we could access in the lower zone. We will have various scripts for popular controllers from Arturia, Akai, Novation, and Korg, where these controllers, once connected, can be plug and play, where all parameters are kind of pre-configured. Sometimes we may have controllers where we don't have those scripts and we need to create the scripts and we could do that quite easily in Cubase. I'm gonna click on the home key and we see I have one controller defined and I'll maximize this so it's gonna be easier to see. And I'm gonna click on the plus sign. So what I want to do is to define my input and output ports for my controller. We could set a vendor, we'll give it a name And then I'll click on the right arrow. So now we're in the MIDI controller surface area and we want to define the knobs and faders and buttons on our controller. So let's say if I have eight knobs, I want to move knob one and we can see that's gonna create the object. I'll move the different knobs. And let's put in some faders. And I want these faders to be a little longer. And as I move the fader, these will auto populate. And let's say I have a button underneath the faders. I will change the size of the button. Now let's move it here. And I have some other buttons that for transport controls. So these are transmitting different MIDI messages. So as I work with this, we can again come here, resize buttons. Let's say I have larger transport. And let's say I have another eight encoders that I want to use as maybe quick controls. And I also have 12 drum pads. So if I wanted to use my drum pads, we can just kind of expand this over a little bit. Okay, so we have our controller kind of laid out for us. So we'll jump back home so we can see this and I'll go back to the lower zone. So now we have a representation of the controls and parameters on our MIDI controller. We want to assign these to functions in Cubase. We could open up the MIDI remote mapping assistant in the upper right hand corner or from directly in the MIDI remote zone here. As I press a button on a controller, that will become highlighted in our mapping. And for some functions like transport, I could just right click on the function. So if I hit the record button on the controller, I can now just say pick up for remote mapping record and then click apply. So if I wanted to hit the play button on my controller, it selects it in, the, in our diagram here and hit the play button in Cubase, right click and apply the mapping and let's do the same for stop. So again, that parameter is selected. Right click in Cubase, pick up for MIDI remote mapping, apply the mapping. And let's also do just our cycle on and off. So go to my Cubase cycle and apply the mapping. We can see the graphics automatically applied. Now I wanted to take these eight encoders here and map those to my quick controls. So 
I will come over here to my focus quick controls. I'll select the very first control and double click and we'll assign that to quick control one. Select knob two, encoder two, encoder three, encoder four, and we'll just go through and map our eight quick controllers. And finally, quick control eight. Now I have one extra MIDI fader here and I wanna use this for a special function, which will, and we'll call this an AI knob. And this is very popular in the CC MIDI controller. So now I could apply the mapping of an AI knob to that particular function. Now, if we wanna get deeper into different menu options for other controllers, let's say if I wanted to open up the mixer by hitting this uh, drum pad here. We can now come over here and we'll see all of the key commands in the Cubase. And this is a much nicer, easier, organized way of doing it than previous ways with a generic remote. And we could even search for functions. So if I wanted to type in mixer, I can now see all of my options with mixer and I can now just double click and assign opening up the mixer with that particular pad. Now, when working with quick controls, quick controls can often be utilized for many different parts. It could be utilized for, let's say, plugins on a track. So if I wanted to come over here and adjust my knobs to control parameters in the plugin, we could do that. Or if we wanted to assign at a track level quick controls, so we could have different presets such as volume panning. So now my quick controls could be just controlling the track. So we sometimes want to be able to have control over the focus. Sometimes we may want it to be on the tracks only or on plugins only or whatever is the focused window. So we can now go to the quick control focus we could choose track and plugin quick control focus. If I click on the track, the quick control will be controlling the track. And if I click on the plugin and make that the active window, the quick controls are controlling the plugin. But if I wanted to only be focused on one particular parameter, we could just come over here and say, I want it to be the track focus only or plugin window focus only or toggle back and forth between them. Quick controls have also been updated within the plugin. So if we click on the QC here, we can now see what parameters are being assigned to different quick controls. And if I wanted to switch the parameters that are assigned to a particular quick control, I could click on learn and then move the knob and that will assign it to that particular quick control parameter. We also have a lock button so that we could lock the quick controls to the plugin even if the plugin isn't visible. Now working with the AI knob is a great resource. And so sometimes you may not want to map uh, a number of different parameters or plugins. Now I could just come over here to an AI knob and anything that I hover over will automatically be controlled via the track quick controls. So I don't have to do any assigning. Anything that I hover my mouse over will now be assignable directly through my AI knob. If we wanted to be more specific and spend a lot more time working on various controls, and if we were a company that wanted to introduce this functionality, we could right click and you'll see different scripting tools. So you can see your scripting tools here. And at this point you can have different options where if you wanted to reload scripts or if you wanted to see the remote script setups or if you even wanted to get the MIDI remote API, you can now come over here and find information on that. So as you can see, it's a much simplified system to be able to control numerous parameters in Cubase with your existing MIDI controller.